Hello, this is Jennifer with Women Love and Jesus, and I thank you for watching. Today we're with Proverbs 6.10. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. This sounds like a nursery rhyme, but what this is is a, re in a, a response to Proverbs 6.9. When we were saying, oh sluggard, when will you rise from your sleep? And then the person who wants to just relax, not do the work like the ant, it's just saying, oh, I just want to sleep a little bit. I just want to slumber a little bit. I'm just going to fold my hands and, and, and go to sleep just a little bit. And isn't this true of us today and our walk, whether we believe in God or we don't believe in God? We can find reasons to do anything. <laughs> Name five topics out there. And, and it doesn't matter if you think they're morally right or not morally right. Someone will find a justification for the, what they have done. And we have done that too, honestly. There, there, you know, when we're kids and teenagers and some people continue this on in, in adulthood, there's this trying to be like, oh, it wasn't that bad. Oh, this is the reason why I had to do it. This is why we have to turn to the word of God, which is a two-edged sword where it pierces our spirit and lets us know if our excuses are just excuses. And it doesn't matter what our excuses are. We're turning against the Lord by following those excuses. It doesn't matter how innocent they sound, the excuses we may say. It doesn't matter if people believe the excuses that we say. You know, there's a, there's a saying, whoever said it first, is you can fool all of the people some of the time. You can fool some of the people all the time, but you can't fool all the people all the time. But one person you can't fool any of the time is the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you feel like there has been excuses being made in your life, are these real excuses? Is the Lord trying to tell you that that's what they are? I pray that the Holy Spirit takes the word of the Lord today and encourages you.